Hey guys, I'm Asia, and today we're going to be going to the mining world. Um, it's a mod from Aroma1997, and essentially what it is, it's a, a new dimension that you can get to. It's uh, mainly for mining. It's sort of like a Mistcraft world. Um, the point of it is, you go there, you can put uh, quarries up um, and all kinds of stuff and destroy the absolute, um, you know, the view and you know, prevent you having to destroy the, uh, you know, outside world out like that. So you don't want to build your base and have, like, quarry holes everywhere. So basically what you do is you build the mining world, or I should say you go to the mining world, and you do all your quarrying there, and collect all the stuff, come back, and then make beautiful machines and so forth, and without destroying your current world. And so it's pretty easy to get there. Uh, what you're going to need is well, a stick, stone pickaxe, uh, flint and steel and two stone bricks and you get a tool called the mining multi-tool which is pretty nifty and with this you basically go into the crafting station again and you get some stone bricks you're gonna need at least uh, 14 for one portal so to get to the dimension you go through a portal of course and you just chuck the uh, mining tool next to it and shift click to get all of them and it has a uh, Durability, so it's 73% it's already done. And then with this, right, you basically put a place, where am I going to put it? Uh, I'll put it here. Okay, collect those ones. And so it's basically the same shape as a never portal, hence why you need 14. And then to get it started up, just right click on uh, any of the blocks and you get this blue portal. Now, if you just step into it, nothing happens. Um, the idea behind this is that you're supposed to uh, learn to use the shift mechanism so you don't fall in lava, you know. Um, I'm not even quite sure where they were going with that, but you step inside the portal and then press the shift key and then mining world. As you can see, it's a uh, pretty flat. Um, oh, okay, that seems to spawn in the same place. Um, so basically it's uh, flat, It's uh, it has got a little bit of water in it, uh, there are some lava pools, obviously there's oil as well, some plants grow, I haven't seen any trees grow, um, but essentially what you do here is you do all your mining here and you go home and you don't destroy your home or something. And one thing I should note about this, uh, this place is it's always midday, um, and from what I can tell is that Nothing spawns here, except for that slime, of course. Um, if we just dig down a little bit, I press F7, um, which I just did then, you'll notice that um, I'm not actually seeing any arrows at all. So it's as if uh, nothing can spawn here. And I haven't noticed anything spawning here except for those slimes. So uh, in a sense, this world is a little bit cheaty. So I wouldn't exactly move my house here and start doing everything here because like I said, it's a little bit cheaty. You're not going to have to deal with monsters like you would in the real world, which is what you should do. Um, but essentially, if you want to do quarrying, it's a good place to do it. It's uh, not cheaty because, let's face it, you can do quarrying in the real world and there's not really a difference except for, you know, those giant holes in the ground. So basically, this is what the uh, dimension is for. And I think, um, let me see if I can... There is one more thing in this mod. Uh, aroma, dimensional world... Um, you do get a ore. Um, I'm not sure if it's disabled in the Bevo Tech Pack, but it's basically called Sticky Ore, and you can get a um, slime out of it. And then down here, you've got a dimensional charger. Uh, let's see, dimension charger. Okay. Yeah. I... And did I misspell that? D. Well, D. I think I've got that wrong. Oh, dim. I'm a, I'm a Gumby. Dim. Okay, let's see how to make that. So basically what the uh, dimension charger is, is uh, it's like the portal, except uh, obviously it costs way more. You can essentially uh, charge it up and it will teleport you wherever you are to the mining world. So, so this one leads to dimension zero, obviously. And this one... Yeah, so essentially, it's basically like a portal in an item, 
it's pretty expensive to make so but this is pretty cheap so i'd go with this one and obviously if you want to go through portal for a shift and we're back and now i can do my mining um in the mining world and live this place as pristine as i found it although i have sort of built stuff in it uh, that's about it today guys if you like it like it uh if you want to see more of this stuff subscribe it always helps um and until next time yeah. ready aim fire